Solving quadratic equations. The question here is locate x intercepts of the graph of f of x equals to 3x squared minus 7x minus 2. When we say x intercepts, it means what? It means f of x is equal to 0, right? So we have to find the value of x which will result into f of x as 0. So that means we have to solve the equation for 3x squared minus 7x minus 2 equals to 0, right? f of x is 0, correct? So for solving such equation, you could do factoring. 3 times 2 is minus 2 here, minus 6, right? And you need minus 7. So, well, we can do product and sum and solve it using factoring. So factoring is a good option. We are looking for two numbers whose product is minus 6 and whose sum is equals to minus 7. The numbers are minus 6 and minus 1. Well, that gives us that as positive. So 3 and 2 will not give. So, well, we are not in a position to factor it, right? It doesn't really work because we need negative. So one of them should be positive. If I make one of them as positive, it doesn't work. So factoring doesn't work for us. And therefore, we are left with the option of using quadratic formula. Now, in a quadratic formula, general equation is ax squared plus bx plus c equals to 0. And you can say x is equals to minus b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2 times a. Now, in this equation, we are given a as equals to 3, b as equals to minus 7, and c is equals to minus 2. So let's put these values and calculate. So we get x equals to minus of b, that means minus of minus 7, plus minus square root of minus 7 square, minus 4 times a is 3, and c is minus 2, divided by 2 times 3. So let's simplify it. Minus of minus 7 is plus 7, square root of 49, minus and minus is plus 4 times 3 is 12 12 times 2 is 24 square root divided by 6 correct now this gives us a value of let me go down now for the 7 plus minus let's add them up 9 plus 4 is 13 3 and 4 plus 2 6 plus 1 7 so we get 73 over 6 so that is our answer, right? So we say, well, the answer is x is equal to 7 plus minus square root of 73 divided by 6, right? If you need to find answer to, let us say, two decimal places, in that case, you have to figure out what is square root of 73. Square root of 73 is equal to 8.544. So in that case, you have to do 7 plus minus 8.544 divided by 6, right? So that results into two solutions, right? The first solution is 7 plus 8. This other one is 7 minus 8.54, right? So one we get when we add it up, we get, so we get two solutions here. If I write 7 plus 8, it is 15.5. 544 divided by 6, right? We can use calculator and find it out. If I use 7 minus, that means I get minus 1.544 divided by 6, right? So we'll find these answers using calculator and round them to two decimal places. So 15.544 divided by 6 is equals to 2.59. So I'll round it to 2.6, right? Let's write it 6, 0, let me write down, to two decimal places. And if it is 1.544 divided by 6, we get 0 0.257, which I can round to minus 0 0.26, right? So there are times when they will mention round your answer to two decimal places. In that case, these are the two answers. That answer is the exact value. This one is the exact value. Right? That is how you are to answer your questions. I hope that helps. Thank you.